Evening guys, hope everyone's doing well. Um, today I've got a tutorial with two different brushes we're going to be doing. Uh, the first one is going to be the kind of scales of a snake and then the second one it's going to be the underbelly of the snake. So this is going to help get the kind of flow of the snake going a little bit better for you hopefully. Um, it's not something that I personally tend to draw a lot of. Um, but hopefully uh, it will help a lot of you and save a lot of you uh, time when you're actually drawing uh, snake designs. So uh, first thing we're going to do, we'll get rid of that. Uh, you want to start with your square canvas. Um, we want to come up and you want to make sure you press on the edit drawing guide, come down to symmetry and options. And we only want the horizontal um, mirror function on for this one. So press done in the corner. Uh, we're just going to open the layer and make sure the drawing assist is checked on. And then the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to come and get the hard airbrush about halfway up like we've done in the past. Uh, select that as black. Um, and we're just going to draw one individual scale right now. So um, you can do them any way you want. I'm going to kind of do them a little bit more pointy, maybe not that pointy. Um, I know sometimes you can do them so they're a little bit more round, but I think I prefer snake scales to look a little bit more pointy. So we'll start with that. Um, and then you want to get rid of the drawing assist. So just click your layer and press drawing assist. So now that way, whatever we draw, it will not be mirrored. So come back into your hard airbrush and you want to bring the size of the brush down probably by about 20% to what you've been using it for. Um, and then what I do is I draw a line, hold it so it snaps into place. So this line that we've just drawn, that is basically going to be here on your brush. So what we want to do is highlight this area, uh, make sure the snapping as always is on snapping and magnetics, um, and then bring this down and quite small. So you want to then duplicate this layer drag it across yeah let me just take the snapping off keep the magnetics on because it keeps it in line but if you take the snapping off it'll allow you a bit more freedom with the movement so bring it across until it's roughly until you've roughly got that line in the center um merge those two together and then duplicate the layer once more and then drag that across again and drop that about there. You don't have to be super, super perfect with these. Um, just move that across. And then let's just do this one more time. Bring that across. So that is our first layer of the snake skin brush. So you want to then duplicate this whole row one more time. And you want to move it up but you also want to move it across. It's probably best to take the magnetics and the snapping off at this point. So you want to move it across until it kind of starts to resemble what you actually want it to look like, um, which is obviously rows and rows of snakeskin. So merge these two layers together. Um, what I'm then going to do is come into your selection tool, get the rectangle selected. Um, and then I'm going to clip out roughly from about here to about here. So if I start around there and then drag it across. You don't have to be perfect with this. You're not going to use the whole width of the whole uh, brush anyway. So if we copy and paste and then come back up here into your layers, delete the original layer. So we're just left with this little area now. So this is the first brush that we're making. You then want to rotate it 90 degrees. So this is what's going to be the start of your snake skin brush. So then you come up, press the little uh, actions button and in the add column, come down to copy canvas. And then you go back up into your brushes selecting my brushes, add, and then come over into the shape, just like we've done in previous tutorials, edit and import, paste. And then you wanna use two fingers to tap to invert that. 
press done. Okay, so now we've got our snake skin brush. So you want to change the rotation up to 100% so it follows whichever way the cursor goes. The stroke path, we want to bring it up to about 50%. Is it about 50, maybe about 40%? Um, the properties, you want the maximum size, I'll do it about 300 usually. Um, you can do it bigger or smaller if you want to. You want to orient to screen, you want to make sure that it's off, that's an important one. Apple Pencil settings, the opacity, take that all the way down. So you can see that just means that you don't have a taper at the beginning, it's, it's the same depth the whole way through. Let's just clear this drawing pad so I can show you roughly what it looks like. There's a bit of a snake skin looking kind of thing. So uh, you come back onto your drawing pad, open up a fresh layer, get rid of the existing one. And then what I do next, you get the hard, hard airbrush again, um, get a fairly big one. I'm just gonna duplicate that and bring it across. So we now have a snake shape, a loosely based snake shape. So come back into your brushes. You wanna find the brush that you've just made, which is the snake skin one, select that. Um, I'm gonna select a white color, because obviously we've got a black background. So if you wanna take the brush stroke up a little bit higher so it fits the width, get the brush back up, and then you can kind of start drawing. So you can see it's a little bit jittered. So if you come back into the brush properties, stroke path take the stroke path down a little bit it just brings everything a little bit closer and then you don't have these gaps as you go along with it so let's just get rid of that and try that one more time there you go you've got uh i mean it's not perfect as you can see in the corners that's the, that is the problem with these brushes because you're doing a straight brush um as you go around the corner it doesn't squeeze in on the one side and get wider on the other it just stays the same width and so as you come down you get these edges here which kind of overlap um i mean it's 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 a good it's a good template but if you want it to be perfect you can obviously erase these bits and draw these bits in by hand but for the majority of it you'll have you'll have the the whole of the snake done pretty much just from using this brush so that's the first brush that we're going to do um, I'm going to just hide these layers for a time being. I'm going to open up a new layer. And then what we want to do on this layer, we want to turn on the drawing assist, which is just the uh, mirrored function. Um, so now we're going to do the underbelly. And this is my adaptation, what, what I think it looks like. You can obviously have a look at a snake and see and draw your own one, but I'm going to come back into the airbrush. Take it to about halfway. Uh, color back to black. I'm just gonna turn this sideways so it's a bit easier for me to do. And then that to me is roughly what the underbelly of a snake looks like, repeated over and over again. We can do a bit of a, maybe not that thick. We can do another little bit of detail just in the middle just to give you a little bit more to look at. You can always even add a little bit more detail something like that yeah let's do that okay so with this one you want to twist this 90 degrees to the right so spin that around and then we want to come up into the actions copy canvas so we're making our new brush now come back into the brushes my brush library and add a new one down onto the shape and edit import and paste and then two fingers just to invert it. So first thing again, rotation, take that up to 100%. Stroke path, you wanna just take the spacing up a little bit further. Uh, Apple pencil, opacity down all the way to zero. Properties, orient to screen off, always off. Maximum size, take it up to about 300, which is what I prefer. And then press done. So there we go, we've got our snake underbelly now. So we can get rid of this layer. We don't need that anymore. Um, that was the snake layer that we had originally. I'm just gonna get rid of that and we can just make a brand new one. So just bring up the airbrush again. We can do a bit of a curling 
my snake belly, duplicate that, move it over, duplicate it one more time, for good measure, oops, there we go, okay, I'm just going to merge those three together, and then make it a little bit bigger, okay, so, first I want to start off with the snake scales brush that you just made, highlight that, and color to white so i'm just going to do something that looks a little bit like that so there we go so that's the top part of the snake and then if you come and come and find the second brush you just made for its underbelly uh select that make sure it's white as well um yeah roughly about that size so then you want to do maybe a little bit bigger you can then do, it's a little bit too big actually. And you can then do another layer, which looks like it's on the belly. So then you get the kind of sense that the snake's twisting and turning around. Um, I'll just draw that one more time so it looks a little bit better. Oops. Don't know why it always selects the rubber for some reason. Um, there we go, got the underneath of the belly. Um, this particular brush is a little bit better than the scales one. I'll just uh, show you why, I'll do a bit of a demonstration. Um, let's just fill this whole page black. Okay, so select the snake skin brush and I'll show you what happens when you actually try and use it. This is what I was talking about when you go around in a circle, like the, sorry, let's turn that into white. So you can see in a straight line, it's pretty good. You can see in a curved line, it's not too bad. If you want to do something, well, I mean, to be honest, that's actually not that bad either. So I guess it depends on, on the width of the brush that you make. I've, I've made what, one, two, three, four, five scales, five, then four, then five, then four. So you can kind of get away with, I mean, it doesn't look too bad. I've done it before where there's been a lot more scales. The width of the brush has been longer. And as you try and come around the corner, it just, it doesn't look very good. If you t do a, like a really, really tight corner, I mean, even still, that's, that's looking pretty good. So yeah, I'm, I guess the, the, the perfect width of that brush would be about four or five uh, individual scales across. Um, I'll just demonstrate with the underbelly as well. So, I mean, that looks pretty good as well. So, I mean, you can make a snake gun in any kind of direction now, guys, I guess, from this. Um, I thought that wasn't going to turn out actually as good as it, as it kind of did, but yeah. you got the underbelly. Let's uh, come into the airbrush. Let's do that black. If we get rid of half of that. And that part. And then come into the, the scales. Bring that down to white. Um, I mean, yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with that, guys. So, yeah, there you go. That is how to draw a snake. Two different brushes. You got the underbelly and you got the scales. Um, you can obviously change the taper on it as well. So, if you obviously the tail of the snake gets narrower towards the end, so you can obviously change the taper. I think that was in my second tutorial. Show you how to change the taper. Um, we can do it on here quickly. Just come into the brush settings. You got the taper option there. Uh, tip size, maybe let's change the end one um, and the size all the way up. So you can see just down here, the end of it is getting very small. So the harder that you press on it, the harder you press on it, the smaller it gets, basically. So yeah, you can do that. Uh, same as well with the scales. You probably won't want it with the scales, but um, yeah, that is how you draw a snake scale pattern brush and also a snake belly pattern brush enjoy guys um send me any comments any photos of anything that you design uh, i'd love to see what you come up with um got another tutorial uh coming out on uh, tomorrow monday maybe um it's going to be a bit of a peppered brush so you can do your kind of flicked peppered dot work shading um but yeah have a good evening, guys. Take care.